Mike, it's a sunny day here at Casco Bay, but we're talking about fog. What's that about? <laughs> well, we are talking about fog. So fog stands for fats, oils, and grease, and it's an element of our sewer use ordinance uh, for containing and protecting uh, our sanitary sewer system from major intrusions from predominantly grease and fats uh, from cooking processes, um, industrial processes as well. And what kind of damage does that do to the system? Well, it can be actually significant. Um, uh, excessive amounts of that material in our pump stations uh, can cause premature uh, failure of our pumps, uh, higher maintenance costs, certainly for cleaning. Uh, it also mo mostly can cause backup in our sanitary sewer lines and uh, r uh, lateral lines to, to properties, which can be very damaging as well. And how much of a problem is it? I mean, how much grease accumulates in the system over the year? Well, for instance, in the past year, the Portland Water District, just as an example of the treatment plant that's behind us, removed um, something like uh, 50 to 60 tons of material uh, at a cost of around $60,000. Um, that was not anything that they could process here at the treatment plant. Um, so you multiply that times a series of years, and that expense is, is quite high, uh, combined with the, the potential of any sewer backups uh, in different parts of the city uh, where people are using excessive greases and oils in cooking or in, in their process can be really, really damaging and really a problem for us. So let's talk about restaurants and food service uh, institutions first. What, uh, what do they have to do? Well, so uh, restaurants and uh, uh, food preparation uh, establishments are required to have a system where they can control and contain their greases and oils uh, before it enters into the system. So it can be, uh, in our, our standard model, our standard case is an, is an in-ground 1,000 gallon uh, tank that basically all the plumbing from that kitchen goes into and all the heavy uh, or the uh, fats are separated from the from the water discharge and that material then gets uh, hauled away separately. Uh, there's also other devices dependent upon size of the restaurant and the kitchen space. Uh, we also allow under under the counter, under the sink structures that uh, provide an automatic um, uh, uh, separation uh, system so that the, the greases and oils are captured again before it goes into the system. And that too has to be cleaned out on a regular basis. And what about people at home? They don't have to buy this equipment to work to do it in their well, homes, do they? Yeah, homeowners don't have to uh, uh, purchase the expensive equipment, but what they can uh, help us with is basically uh, a collection of their grease and oils when they're cooking. It can be in an old coffee can. And basically they can set that aside, let it solidify, um, and they can uh, discharge, they can uh, throw that away in their weekly garbage. Um, we can take it in the, in the blue bags and haul it away. So it's pretty simple and it also protects their plumbing and their uh, sewer lines uh, for their residential properties. So the grease is better going to the eco main than it is in the sewer system? Well definitely it is, absolutely. And if people want more information about this program or things that they can do, where can they get more information? Well, we have staff through uh, the Department of Public Services. Uh, Frank Bransley of our staff is one of our technicians that is involved in um, answering questions from our restaurants and other industrial users. Uh, he can be reached at 874-8801 and be glad to provide more information for you on that as well.